Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Evan Better Presents, and this game is Factorio. This is a new game for my series. This is, um, Factorio is a factory building game. It's in alpha right now, so they've been pretty good. There's a shit ton of content in this game already. And the premise of Factorio is to, uh, is, is basically you've crash landed on an alien planet. Um, you've got to build up resources to create machines to do research to get advanced weaponry to defend the colony ships that are on their way here. Alright, so eventually we want to get to rocket defense. You can see here, rocket defense requires a lot of stuff. And you have to build labs to do research. And labs take these things called science packs, which you can see here is science pack one. And there's the amount of time that is, uh, it, it, these the time in seconds it takes to, to research just one science pack in a lab. So the whole premise is that you've got to be able to expand and survive until um, you can get advanced enough to get the rocket defense up. So, we're going to start here by looting our crashed spaceship here. Alright, we got some good stuff right off the bat. Perfect, okay. Anything in these pieces over here? No. 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 And no. Okay, so we got everything that uh, was on this here. So first things first, we're going to need to mine some of these resources here. We got a nice copper vein. That's good to see. We got some uh, iron ore, which is really good. Some stone and some coal right right here. So it's perfect. So everything requires coal at the beginning because you need a fuel source. In the beginning of this game is kind of monotonous because you basically have to just go around gathering resources. It's kind of a lot like, um, like playing Tech It on Minecraft kind of idea, you know, you start off getting basic resources that you need to be able to uh, do anything, and then you get more and more advanced. Alright, so there we go, we got some, some basic coal. We're going to put down one of these things here, this is a burner uh, mining drill, and basically it runs on coal. I'm going to put a storage chest right there so it collects the coal. Oops, is that going to work? I hope so, it looks like it will. And we just load it up with some coal. And it'll get us more coal. Yep, perfect. Alright, so let's just collect a little bit more coal here. So we're gonna, you know, we have to start off here. We gotta build some basic stuff. And then we can get a little bit more advanced. We have to uh, worry about pollution levels. Pollution levels attract these creatures called biters. And the biters will kick your sorry little ass real quick. So we got to watch out for biters. And the best way to do that is to avoid huge amounts of pollution. But that's not just that's just not a possible thing. Uh, eventually you're going to be doing a lot of pollution. So you got to build guns. You got to build walls. You gotta build defenses, you know, you gotta get power armor, you gotta get uh, shields, weapons, all kinds of stuff. You know, all we have right now is a pistol and 16 rounds of ammo, that's not a lot. Alright, I just wanna collect five iron ore, and then we'll set up our, our drill, our burner drill. And the whole premise of this game is it's all about automation. And the automation can be really, really cool. Put in five there. Two. And the rest in there. What the hell's going on? What is a Oh, duh. My mistake. It got clogged. So you need to you kinda of, sometimes you need to have these buffers here so that uh the drill can keep drilling. 
There we go, now it's working. Alright, so that's smelting away. And that one's mining for coal up there. Alright, how are we doing for coal? 36, beautiful. Let's get one more of these burner mine drills uh, making coal right now. Do we have any more chests? I right, we can build some more chests. There we are. There we go. Nice and full. We'll take all this coal and we'll go over here to the uh, machine that's making our iron plates at the moment. Let's set it up to make uh, two of these guys. Oh, our drill ran out of power, our fuel. There we are. Make another drill. I'm make an electric drill. What about a regular drill? Where do you make the burner mining drill? There it is. <clears throat> Excuse me, I didn't know what I was looking for. Let that do its thing. Let's go get more coal. <coughs> Excuse me. Put ten in there. Ten in there. We gotta get a, something going for that copper as well soon. Ten. Ten. And then the inserters. We'll make ten as well. All right. Perfect. Everything's got its... Everything's doing its thing. Get lots and lots of copper or iron plates. Iron plates are like the, the cornerstone of everything in this game. Without iron plates, you can't build, um, well, basically anything. So you really need a lot of iron plates because iron plates are also used to make steel. Iron plates are used to make the machines. Iron plates are used to make everything. So without iron plates, you really can't build shit. So we need to get um, we need to get some power up, up and going here. So let's get one. Oh, we can only make two boilers at the moment. Why is that? Let's build some pipe. Okay. What do we need? Oh, we need more stone furnaces. Okay, so let's go get mine some stone. Because to make boilers, we need stone to make stone furnaces, which in turn will make the uh, the boilers and the boilers heat steam or heat water into steam that run steam turbines to give us electricity. Uh, we also need to get some wood, so we're needing to make we're needing to make some power poles here, and we're gonna need some copper. So we should go find some copper as well. Let's get 30 of this stone here. All right, well there's some wood. Okay, I got more trees right here. Oh yeah, there's plenty of trees. Trees don't really serve much of a purpose later game at all. Like you don't need wood. Once you get large sums of iron, you can make pretty much anything out of iron. 
but at the beginning you need you need a few pieces of wood to make you know boxes, which we don't have to anymore because we can make iron chests. But um, there's certain things you just got to make out of wood. There's, there's no way around it. All right, so we got our stone. Now we need to get some copper. We've got six copper bars currently, but that's not a lot. Copper, of course, needs to be smelted in a furnace, just like the iron ore does. So we'll just go and toss this in one of those furnaces down there, these 10 pieces. There we go. All right. Let's cut this last tree down. All right, so we'll set up our first steam boiler system right here. <clears throat> and we need, oh, we need to make boilers, right. Okay, let's make three. Make two, we'll make four, five boilers, six boilers, what the hell, we'll, we'll use, make them all. And three of these guys. Perfect. Okay, so put the boiler down here. Okay, and now these guys take coal to run. And then you can just daisy chain these things together like this. And this is our basic, our basic power supply is going to be from these guys right here. Okay, so that thing's running out of coal there. We're going to go fill that back up. As soon as we have some basic electricity. Oh, this one's now running out of fuel. Alright. Yeah, once we have some basic electricity, we can we can start automating a lot of stuff here. So okay, that drill has run out. Okay, we got that. And we'll save the rest of this coal for the boilers. How are these robot arms doing? 8, 9, 15, 17, 7, that's fine. 8, that's fine. Okay. So, let's go stick some of this coal in a boiler. As the temperature rises, once it hits 100 degrees Celsius, of course, water boiling at 100 degrees Celsius, we can get some uh, some steam. So we're going to make some power poles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And electric inserters. 1, 2, 3, for right now. And then we're going to get some of these proper mining thingy jiggers. 1, 2, 3 at the moment. All right. So eventually I want to get like a large solar array going on. But for right now, this is what we got to work with. So this is what we got. This is what we got. This is what we got to work with. We need more coal. How's the coal coming? Perfect. Okay, we'll just load up these guys with some more. 20... Put twenty in each one. some of these power poles up. Okay. 
whoops, uh, let's just get some iron uh, being mined automatically here with these, one of these electric guys. They're much better. They're better. -er -er -er. And then we can start getting some conveyor belts going once we have a few more pieces of iron here. So let's just put uh, one, two, two of these guys for right here right now. Can we make some conveyor belts? Yes. Sweet. All right. Everything seems like it's working good. The great thing about this game is it's very forgiving. Like, if you place something in a spot that isn't ideal, the game doesn't penalize you and force you to... Well, you're screwed now. You can't do anything about that. It doesn't do that. It's decent. It's a very decent game in the sense that it won't fuck you right over. Let's make two chests. Okay. That's going to start collecting that. Well, let's put down these robotic retrievers. Okay. And we're going to have to decide where we're going to start building our first big smelting area for this iron. I think probably up here somewhere. Okay, there we go. Uh, for right now, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll just feed the iron into this furnace here. Because we just don't have the technology just yet. So that'll do for right now. And then we're going to put a robotic arm to retrieve our plates and put it in a chest. There we are. And we'll just let that thing do its thing until it runs out of coal. Speaking of coal, let's start getting some power lines run over towards the coal. I'm going to need a lot more power lines. Yeah, you can't be too far away. Come on, place. I'm not that far, you fucker. Okay, and uh, let's set up our automatic coal miner device right here, and a conveyor belt. Wait a second, why am I doing it that way? Oh, right, because, right, okay, I'm, I was being stupid. Okay, that one's running out of stuff. You can eventually make, like... We need to make a lot more of these. So we're just going to go stick. The, these are still doing a good a good service right now. So we're just going to stick some more coal in there, just for right now. our iron plates. Okay, let's make one more of those automatic... Th oh, we can't. Uh, we need electronic circuits, which means we need more copper. Okay, so let's go mine copper. So as I say, let's set up an electronic drill over here. And start mining this stuff automatically, but we're missing the stuff to do that. Yeah, so you can see here we've uh, already gotten some good automation going. This is just basic shit at the point at this point. I'm 
Let's get these. Oops, let's get those out of there. Let's continue our track all the way over here. And we'll feed. We'll feed coal into these machines via another electronic majigger. That's not what it, really what I was trying to do. Okay, uh, we need to make another electronic inserter. And this inserter is going to be putting coal into this machine here. Does it work? Yep. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to start building a, a chain of these guys here. So these have finally run out. Take that. Yeah, we don't need these burner ones anymore because they're slow and inefficient compared to these guys here. These ones are much faster and much better. So we're going to... Um, I think we're going to start getting this automated here. So let's just uh, give it a half second to finish smelting all that stuff. Uh, go get more... Sh uh, actually, can I make another electronic thing? Yes, I can make two more. Perfect. Okay, so these guys have now run out of coal, more or less. And you're still going. You're almost out, too. As soon as, you're, as soon as you run out, we're going to pack you up as well, because this guy here is much more efficient. Should be any second now. Oh, it still has one piece left. Okay, I don't want to wait. Okay, okay, let's see. Just run by, push F, and collect all that. And we're just going to move that back by one. Okay. So what we want to have is robot arm, furnace, and then robot arm taking it out. How do we bring the coal to that scenario consistently? Hmm. We could always, well, we could do it this way. Um, yeah, this is how we're going to do it. Okay, so. Just like that. And then we move the conveyor belt up. Well, there's no difference there. Shit.
How many more of these furnaces can I build? None, because I don't have any fucking stone. Okay. We can always just do this manually for right now. Figure it out afterward. I just need to get I need to get some automation going here because I need to get I start I need to start getting um, like iron plates and stuff being produced because I need a lot of them. And we'll make this better in a sec. Don't worry. It's just temp. There and there, I guess. All right, so right now we have some basic automation here. The coal is being mined up over there. Our steam engines are pumping away pretty strong. How's the burner doing? So right now we are only using one burner's worth of coal. So we're just going to keep loading it in. Oops. There, they should all have 64, except for you, because you just burned some out. All right. Let's collect some stone, make some more furnaces. I'd love to figure out a way to get this... <clears throat> How do we make electronic circuits? Copper cable. Yeah, right. So we, so we need to start getting some copper um, being mined up as well. Wait, 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 wait. I just had a great idea. I know how to do this now. Stupid me. I was trying to figure out, like, well, how the hell can I get them both to feed on one side? Duh. So stupid of me. So as you can see here, the, the retriever arms and shit, they've put on one side in particular, okay? So you can clearly see that. <clears throat> so you can you can force the ore to go on the other side if you do something like this. Now the retriever arm should grab from both of those. See that? Gangbusters, baby! Mm. We set up conveyor belt on this side. Taking all that sweet, sweet metal plate away. And for right now, we'll just do something like this. Whoops, I didn't leave a space. And it's kind of hard sometimes to judge the distances on this thing. I find that's one of my big problems, is I can never quite judge where everything's supposed to be. Damn. Damn it. 
I only have one more bar. All right, we really need to start getting that copper mined. But I'm going to call it, call it right here, guys. So we got some basic stuff done. We got um, some automation going here, just a little bit of basic stuff. Got our coal coming for our furnaces. We're getting steel plates made. In the next episode, we'll have some copper up and going. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Factorio. Thanks for watching.